good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back to unbox another laser friends though you'll notice the counter is empty that's because the laser is so big it's on the floor so let's get cracking alright friends so let's start by slicing through this tape and seeing just what we got in the box as you can see it comes assembled we've got a power cord a USB cord and we're pretty much ready to roll all right everybody so we've got it out of the box let's take away the packing material as you can see it comes totally assembled let's see what's inside this part first we've got a bit of paper we can remove foam pump so that we can cool it more protective foam protective foam the tubing they will cool it in just a little bit back here we have got tubing for the exhaust real quickly I'm gonna peel off the uh, protective cover and with a little bit of luck you may be able to take that off pretty much all at once all right, friends, I went to remove this paper, and I think the easiest way is to take this off, and it does use the tiny wrench that was included. The other bonus is with those screws out of the way. It's a little easier to get the entire thing to just come off all at once. <laughs> or all at once-ish. But as you can see, that was pretty effective and now we can put it right back up in before we dive in the manual we do have a power switch amp meter this is the temperature for the water and this also shows the temperature of the LCD display power and you of course want to know where the emergency stop is the manual has a boatload of information make sure you read through it all tons of safety information and disclaimers as you get ready to use your laser for the first time all right everybody so i have spun it around let's open up the back this is a phillips head screw want to make sure we don't lose that all right, so there you can see the tube. I'm gonna close that back up because I don't think I have a need to be in there right now, but at least we know how to get in it. This is our cooling tube. Notice there is a little connector in the middle. Once you've got that out, you should be able to fish it through. And back out while we've got the camera over here let's take care of our pump so first find your packet of parts and we simply insert this in here so that we can connect the hose now we want the water inlet valve so you simply grab your inlet valve two-handed project and then bang you have got your inlet hose connected now the outlet is just going to go in the bottom of the bucket that way the water goes back through so that you're cooling the tube while we've got the pump handy there are also four little suction cups press those in and then slide them in to lock them where they go just like that over on this side we have got water pump electricity your ground wire joint and your 110 volt input Attaching with the included hose clamp is easy peasy. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this, and I'll show you on the other end. I've used others that don't have this blue stuff inside or this little piece of plastic, and it's a lot more difficult. That was super slick. All right, friends, so here is where we're at. Glass is cleaned, all set up, got a little table to put it on. If you look down here, this is where the cable plugs in. All right, friends, so there is a USB-C cable plugged inside there. I did have to use a flashlight to look in and get that plugged in, but that is hooked up. Over there, I've got my pump hooked up. I have got an old margarita bucket that holds the water, and then you can see I made a sweet little cardboard cover using a separate laser so that we can always check to see if the water's full, and it keeps it dust-free as well since we're out here in my garage. 
Let's quickly open up the laser and let you see inside it. And I'll also power it on so you can see it light up for the first time. Has nice built-in LEDs, which is pretty awesome. From this angle, you can also see our reader on the amp meter. And also don't forget the emergency stop. Also do make sure that your water is being pumped as you expect. Mine is, so we are good to go. Before I go any further, I am gonna remove this blue material. It's not really coming free back here in the back. So I'm gonna just trace that line and peel it to right there. Cause that's a lot more efficient. All right, everybody. So we're gonna connect this first with light burn cause it is my favorite. All right, friends. So I have got my laser connected. We are gonna hit devices and we are gonna do find my laser. It is connected via USB. I have not chosen a port yet. Let's hit next and see if it can find it. Bingo. It has got the GRBL 300 by 200 on COM7. I'm going to add the device. I'm going to change this to MON port. <laughs> and I'm going to tell it next. Instead of front left, this one homes to the rear left. I am going to tell it to home on startup. And let's click finish. Alrighty friends, so it is time for project one. This is a tiny jet that I made in Tinkercad. I love to cut these out of cardboard. I've got the cardboard in the machine. I have moved it to where I want. I will just nudge it so that you can see that it is moving. And then I'm going to change my cuts and layers. So I'm going to change my speed to 2000. And I'm going to change my power to 40%. And friends, let's quickly hit frame. Notice that it is staying on the cardboard just like we would want it to. And let's hit start. I'm gonna put on my safety glasses and let's see just what we made. Alrighty friends, so moment of truth. Check it out. We've got a sweet jet. We've got a tail fin. That slides through just like that. Notice it fits almost perfect, but then what it allows you to do is slide it forward and backwards as you find the perfect center of lift for your cute little launchable plane. Of course, friends, I will have more videos about this plane. You can check up in the cards above. Friends, there you have it. Unboxing setup and our first cuts with the Monport K40 Light Burn Ready laser cutter. Now, friends, if you are looking for one, I'll make sure there is a link down below. And of course, there are more videos to come. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh,